It was either create a sausage that was good enough for myself to eat or move back to England. And I just kind of met the love of my life, so I thought I'd better try and figure it out here. When I met Danielle, I was uh, in the restaurant business already. I was working as a, as a chef or as a cook. And she was in the restaurant business as well. Uh, the two of us got together, and food was usually part of like a daily experience for us. And I just found myself saying to Freddie, or even to myself out loud, you just can't get any proper sausages around here. No one was really making sausage in Miami. No one was doing it in a way that had any love and care. Certainly nothing as familiar to her as what she grew up with in, in England. And then we just thought, why don't we just call it proper sausages? Because uh, kind of a uniquely British expression. And it reflected really what we were trying to, to do, to do things properly, you know? So the very genesis for us is the effort to make a sausage in a proper fashion. So what makes a proper sausage and what makes our sausage proper is commitment to its quality and then really celebrating its simplicity. Well, we decided that we wanted to open a sausage butcher shop um, after about a year, 11 months of being in the farmer's market with like some success, with, with some really good success, really great feedback. We were lucky enough to find a location here in Miami Shores that was perfect for its residential neighborhood um, and for its kind of location in and around Miami. Uh, so the following that we had achieved at the farmer's markets really gave us the confidence to be able to open up and know that people were going to come here and shop with us every day. We have a very successful brand here called Proper Sausages. It's the name of the store. It's the name of, in fact, our number one seller product. We felt like we needed to rebrand before distribution. We weren't just doing sausages, so we couldn't just be proper sausages selling proper bacon and proper mustard and, and a number of other proper products. When we were faced with the final the opportunity to move into the retail market, we knew that the branding was going to be as important as the product inside the package. So we decided to pull the plug on the old branding and we turned to Axiom to help us get back to a place where we were going to be proud and excited and, and really felt like we were giving it our best. From the moment we sat down with them, I just felt very comfortable. They listened and I just really felt that they got what I was trying to convey to them without trying to push their own opinions on me. And the final iteration was, it really blew us away, to be honest. It was very simple, it was very impactful. It was really everything that we discussed. He hadn't gone off on his own. Um, and yeah, like, great. We were very happy. The branding is so exciting to me because I think it really does say everything that I would hope to say with a brand on a food product. My experience with Axiom has been easy and fluid and I would say efficient. Now I have my new brand, I'm so much more confident to go up into the, out into the competitive marketplace. But now that we've worked with Axiom and they've rebranded us in such a way that really makes me feel the pride for, for my company like I did in the beginning with our original logo and it's really got me excited again to, to represent myself. We've established that the word proper means something that we believe in and that if we believe in it, then the consumer believes in it. There's a trust involved with our brand now. I'm happy to put it on my orange hat. I'm happy to put it on a t-shirt. I'm happy to put it on bacon packaging and uh, make sure that everyone knows that if it says proper, it, it is proper. And if it is proper, then if there's nothing that's gonna be better than it or gonna give you an experience that you're happier to have spent your money on. We created what proper means in this town. So we didn't need anyone to kind of re-explain that or, or develop that anymore. What we needed was someone that could help us make sure that the word proper, the, the image of proper was so enduring that it would be unmistakably ours. And that's what Tim gave us.